So there's been a lot of talk lately about how AMD is a better choice over NVIDIA for gaming on Linux. Especially in light of the Tech Quickie video where, despite Linus saying that NVIDIA is the way to go, seems like everybody in the Linux, or at least the Linux gaming community, is trying to say that AMD is the way to go. Coincidentally, I just so happen to have an HD 7770 sitting around, so let's give it a try. Now before everybody goes totally bananas in the comments or wherever this video is shared, I am well aware that the HD 7000 series was released back in 2012, so it's a pretty old card. Now remember, the argument is not that brand spanking new AMD cards are the way to go. The argument is that AMD cards in general are the way to go. And it seems like the primary argument here is that, well, the drivers are open source, so they are automatically better. Well, let's just see about that. So the first game we're going to be looking at is Tomb Raider 2013, which is a native Linux game ported by Feral Interactive. So the first thing you may notice in the footage here is that it runs like total butt. And I'm running it on the medium or standard graphics preset. This is not the lowest it can go. According to Feral themselves, the minimum graphics card requirements is a one gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce 640, which is a pretty old and weak card. On the AMD side, a two gigabyte R7 260X. Now to be fair, the HD 7770 is not even in the minimum specs. However, if you look at pretty much any benchmark between a GT640 and an HD7770, the 7770 is hugely more powerful than the GT640. The performance that we're seeing here on Tomb Raider is embarrassing. Next, we're going to be taking a look at the UniEngine Valley benchmark. Now, this benchmark is unquestionably my favorite benchmark of all of the dedicated benchmarking programs available. Now, of course, it runs on Linux natively, and you can actually drop into the benchmarking world and just like kind of walk around as if it was a first person shooter or something. And that's what we're doing here. Now, the FPS monitor at the top right hand corner of the screen claims we're getting about 30 frames a second, but look how choppy it is. I'm not really sure what's going on here because this does not look like 30 frames a second to me, but the counter says that it is. Now, prior to this, I actually ran the full benchmark and it says that we got a solid 25.6 frames a second. Now, I suppose that's not bad, but even in the background, you can see it's stuttering. This is not smooth. So maybe it averages out to 25 frames a second, but with the stuttering, it's just, it's not comfortable to look at. And if this was a game, it wouldn't be comfortable to play either. Next up, we've got War Thunder. Now, the footage you saw at the beginning of this video was War Thunder, but that was being played on my GTX 760. This clip and the next War Thunder clip is all on the HD 7770. Once again, there's a frame rate monitor at the bottom left and it says we're getting about 30 to 40 frames a second, but look how choppy it is. When you're playing a fast paced flying game like War Thunder, it needs to be as smooth as possible and this is not smooth. So if you were to look at some sort of benchmarking chart or something that puts a bunch of games and graphics cards next to each other and compares them, it wouldn't capture this problem. It would look like, oh, well, this card is getting between 30 and 40 frames a second and then you actually play it and it stutters like hell. Now when we drop into the tank battling portion of War Thunder, the frame rate is on average much, much lower. I'm getting about 17 frames a second, but the stuttering is mostly gone, I think. I was actually able to do pretty well, and I'm not very good at the tanks on this game. And I'm playing War Thunder on low to medium graphic settings, so this isn't top-notch stuff we're dealing with here. Now I wanted to save the best example of the argument that, well, AMD cards usually run better or as good as NVIDIA cards on Linux, for last. This is Shadow of Mordor, again a native Linux game ported by the excellent Feral Interactive, just like Tomb Raider. This again is low to medium presets and, well, I mean the footage speaks for itself I think. And then once again look at the frame rate counter at the top right, it says we're getting like 15 frames a second. This is not 15 frames a second. This is like 5, maybe. Now I know that there's going to be a lot of hardcore FOSS and Linux users in the comments saying, oh well it's this technical detail or it's this thing that's causing it, and that's not the point. There are a lot of places and a lot of people that straight up say that AMD is the way to go on Linux. So you get a new user that comes over to Linux and they say, well I've got this AMD card, I'm going to start playing Shadow Mordor, and this is what they see. They're going to say, boy gaming on Linux fucking sucks. When that's not the case, this game, Shadow Mordor, runs perfectly fine on an NVIDIA card. In fact, I beat the game on an NVIDIA card. You can see right here. Well, almost beat the game. But to further drive my point, when you go to launch the game, look at what it says. Shadow Mordor is specifically telling me that my computer's graphics card or driver is not supported by the game. 
I mean, there you go. That says everything you need to know about AMD on Linux. The AAA games don't even support the damn cards. So as I wrap this video up, I want to show you this comparison I made. I ran benchmarks against my GT730 and my HD7770. And like I said on Twitter, this benchmark comparison speaks for itself. Newer cards, such as cards in the Vega series, will have much better performance. But based on the previous performance of AMD cards and drivers, do you really want to take the risk with a brand new AMD card and just hope their driver support is good? So I hope you liked this video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who don't like this video and don't like what I have to say, and meh, let me know in the comments. I appreciate everyone's support, and thanks for watching.